Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. Let me welcome Kapil Gupta of NeatPrep.com and we are going to talk specifically about the numbers for this year's NEAT 2022. Kapil, it's quite interesting the way the numbers have shot up. In this year, 16.14 lakh students had appeared for the exam and this year the number has gone up by 2.5 lakh. Dai lakh jada students this year apply for the NEAT exam ke liye to 18.72 lakh students. So, my First question is, how do you explain the increase in numbers of this way? And how will it affect students? So, two things, Sudhir. It is very clear. When uh, 2.58 lakh students have increased in one year, NEET exam started in 2016. The numbers were increased dramatically in the Because Tamil Nadu, uh, Jammu Kashmir, Andhra, Telangana, they were not on board. The Supreme Court gave time that you have to come to 2017. और ये नंबर्स करीब 16 लाख के आसपास स्टेबल हो रहे थे इस साल एकदम से जो 2.58 लाख का नंबर बढ़ा है मुझे ऐसा लगता है इसका रीजन ये है अब इसके ऊपर अच्छी रिपोर्टिंग नहीं हुई है रिपोर्टिंग बस इस फैक्ट को लेके हो रही है इसके अंडरलाइन कॉजेस के बारे में यू वोंट फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिकल्स आई पर्सनली बिलीव इफ यू लुक एट थिंग्स अराउंड यू अ लॉट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस प्राइवेट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस आर शटिंग डाउन बिकॉज़ दे आर नॉट एबल टू गेट गुड कैंपस प्लेसमेंट फॉर देयर स्टूडेंट्स People are generally not getting jobs out of engineering colleges unless you are from IITs or good NITs. Yes. So engineering is generally going down. Automation is picking up. And uh, a lot of jobs which used to be in Infosys, Wipro, etc. They do not exist. A lot of those things are being done by automation. Yes. Uh, commerce side, art side, pe jobs hote te, but they were very limited in nature. Yes. Now, taraf, aap need ko dekhenge. So what is interesting about NEET is there is no age limit. Government, yes. NMC this year has presented to the court that we will not have any age limit. There is no attempt limit as well as of now. Mm. If you do not have physics, chemistry, biology in your class 11, mm. you can go to open school, NIOS, government institution, hai, government sector undertaking, hai, usse aap open schooling karke physics, chemistry, bio, ek saal mein reasonable mm. exam hota hai, you can qualify to write NEET. Mm. Ab qualify karne ke baad, now the government says you have to score the qualification marks, which is 50 percentile mark. Last mm. year, if I'm not wrong, 147 out of 720. And mm. all these career options open up this way because of Corona thing, massive investments have happened, right? Government yes. mandate hai, uh, investment outlays. Hai. Mm. So you suddenly find out uh, a state like Bihar would, uh, would come out with an advertisement. We want 8,000 nurses mm. on government payrolls. And mm. they are able to recruit only 5,000. On the other side, you have people who have done engineering, electronics engineering, and showing up at home fixing ACs, right? Yes. So this is the dichotomy which is happening, which probably is showing up. A lot of people have just said probably to themselves, mm. if I want a reasonable job, mm. let's say between 15 to 25,000 rupees a year to start with, healthcare is my best shot. And that is showing up in these numbers because need ke andar ye bhi cheez hai, they are beginning to consolidate almost everything related to healthcare services around whether you have a need score or not. Hmm. Okay, so in this case, the number of students have come, do we believe that in this case, maybe 80 to 90 percent of them are essentially droppers, which they have given last year and didn't qualify and didn't want to give them this year? It should be. Besides droppers, my sense is that many students should also be there, who are in the rest of the teams, they are now uh, literally switching their careers. We, will, we are now going to go into healthcare. We are not going to pursue engineering. We are not going to pursue, uh, for example, banking, uh, government uh, uh, jobs. We are going to go into uh, healthcare. Okay, that's very strange because fintech is another booming sector as of now. So fintech ko chhod ke medicine mein I'm not sure whether that will be a very good career change. But isse jo student hai jo is saal exam de raha hai, khas taur pe wo student jo ki is saal class 12 ka board exam bhi likhe hain. Will the competition increase dramatically? I don't have to worry so much about the competition. I think that uh, this is not a normal growth of uh, applicants from one year over the uh, other. From one year over the other, uh, the maximum increase should, should not be more than 2-3% to 3 in a stable kind of situation. Similarly, decrease should not be more than that unless uh, some sector is completely dying down, right? So, uh, itne sare jo log hai, mujhe lag raha hai, stream change kare, they are necessarily not targeting 
एमबीबीएस सीट इन गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस सो कॉम्पिटिशन का डेफिनेशन प्रॉबेबली इज वेदर द कट ऑफ इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज और नॉट एंड कट ऑफ इज डिफाइन बाय वेदर आई एम गोइंग टू गेट एमबीबीएस सीट इन अ गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज और नॉट आई डोंट थिंक कट ऑफ इंक्रीजेस बाय दिस uh whether it puts pressure on uh, nursing colleges ayurved seats homeopathy seats unani seats pharmacy colleges mm. seats were uh, going uh, vacant there so mm. uh, overall it seems like a win win okay to wo sare seats fill hone ke chances abhi zyada hai lekin Absolutely. if i'm a student who is writing the exam or what you are telling the students should they change their strategy should this increase in numbers put any kind of pressure aapke in your opinion it should not put any kind of pressure it should not put any pressure let me give you another data uh, uh, though this data is not in this format published by nta they hmm. should uh, last year uh, a student who got zero marks out of 720 rank was 11 lakh out of 16.5 lakh so okay. uh, so you can imagine right so hmm. uh, whether the competition is increasing or not okay so um, one month to go or at least say let's say five weeks to go what should the student essentially do now what are you telling your students what should be the last mile strategy be as far as the students are concerned see sudhir one thing which has happened is that uh, uh, students who were dropping uh, who somehow lost out this year yeah. uh, yeah. the counseling was uh, slightly more elaborate in the sense that there was a stray round in all india counseling uh, state counseling it used to happen anyways yeah. so a lot of students have gotten very less time which means yeah. for them they would uh, hear a lot of things you should revise yeah. so many times you should read ncert so many times you should practice yeah. so many questions but if yeah. your syllabus itself is not complete that should be yeah. the first focus you should yeah. not go into the exam yeah. uh, without having given your best shot at yeah. finishing the syllabus that is the first yeah. priority if your syllabus yeah. is complete Mm. then uh, there are two things which need to happen uh, you should be writing mock tests which will tell you your weak areas and spend 50% of your time in the day fixing mm. those weak areas spending time you are not able to do certain type of problems in rotational motion or ray optics or genetics or equilibrium spend 50% of the time there and 50% of the time just revising things even things mm. that you know so that mm. it doesn't happen that you go into the exam and you are not able to remember the formula or facts neat is right. very form, uh, formula in fact heavy compared hmm. to je hmm. so uh, being able to retain in your head is uh, very very important so yes. if your syllabus is complete the more you are able to revise hmm. the more it remains familiar in your head chances hmm. are that uh, you'll do well in the exam so uh, uh, july is going to be a month of big ticket competitive examinations you will have the neat you will also have the cu et jo bhi jo kafi students wo exam bhi denge je ka bhi examination hoga so how does a student who is probably going to give all three navigate between three different kind of big ticket examinations my sense is uh, uh, number of students who are writing in neat and je uh, the the venn diagram that is there uh, mm. i am assuming the the common area would be very less uh, not mm. many people write uh, neat and je together but mm. between neat and cuet my uh, my understanding is physics chemistry bio part of cuet if you are ch- uh, choosing these three subjects should get covered in neat Yes. it is largely ncert based uh, cu it yeah. is largely going to be ncert based it should not be very tough mm. uh, it seems authorities have gone out of the way trying to convince student don't worry this is not going to be a crazy exam yes right? yes so uh, now uh, in the time that remains when is cu it have they finalized the date of this it would happen any time mid july so it would i mean agar 17 july hai to maybe only after neat gets over they would probably start uh, depending also on the je dates correct so uh, if i am in stu- and uh, have they also said that uh, you can write it only once and you can you can write it any any number of times i think pichle saal ke students bhi de sakte hain so it would kind of and next year they're going to have it twice in a year so i'm assuming that they would be much more flexible with regard to cuet huh. so my sense is uh, in cuet physics chemistry bio should get covered in neat yes. uh, if you are taking ad- uh, any additional subjects then mm. uh, those things you can cover after neat exam but i would give uh, it's it's a matter of prioritization i i would give highest priority to neat some mm. of cuet gets covered in neat and i'm assuming mm. that if you're also giving je mm. then uh, you have ha- you probably have planned that thing by now you are not waiting for last one and a half month to plan out how i'm going to uh, manage my neat je and cuet Absolutely. i frankly uh, uh, means if someone is going to say that i'm going to start my maths now 
Hmm. I'll say, okay, then I can't give you good advice. Yes. My last question, Kapil, now for students of the batch who, are, who have got into class 11 now, who have got into class 12 now, which means they will give NEET either next year or the year after that, 2023 and 2024. Should they go into it assuming that maybe by next year or in 2024, the number of applicants may touch even 20 lakh? Uh, how do, what kind of a mindset should a NEET aspirant be in right now? not get worried at all. Uh, mm. Let us be very clear. When students are in 11th and 12th, mm. uh, their aspiration is not to uh, become a nurse or a homeopathy uh, uh, doctor. Uh, Ayurved. Everyone is targeting to get into an MBBS seat. There That's the competition right. is definitely not increasing. For sure. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, those cutoffs are only going to be dependent on how easy or difficult the paper is. It's mm. not going to be dependent on uh, how many applicants are there, right? Mm. Uh, one interesting thing, I don't know if you have observed, they mm. have significantly reduced the syllabus for 23, 24. And yes. this time, not because of Corona, they mm. seem to be beginning to rationalize the syllabus. Yeah. Now, uh, the only interesting thing is when will NTA confirm that we also are okay with that or rather we would have everything. Generally what happens is they keep communicating something and finally they say, you know what, uh, the complete syllabus is going to come. Mm, so that yeah. is something which is, uh, which is not clear to me, mm. but hopefully if they can, uh, they can communicate that, that would reduce a lot of pressure on the students. So they have significantly mm. reduced the syllabus mm. in uh, biology and uh, chemistry, not that much in physics, but mm. any uh, syllabus reduction is helpful to the students. So class 11 students who have got into class 11 now, they have a two-year race to run. So ensure that you focus on your 11th class portion now. Don't have a backlog the moment you get into uh, class 12 next year in 2023. And as far as class 12 students are concerned, I mean, their time on the treadmill starts right now. I mean, they don't really have a moment to waste. Is that what Absolutely. you would tell them? Absolutely. And Sudhir, uh, you are also teaching students. Hmm. I, uh, I tell a lot of students, don't uh, ignore your school exams. Uh, if you were, uh, let's say, going to write exam in 2024, hmm. if you were a 10-pointer in class 10 and you end hmm. up getting 45% in your midterm in class 11, hmm. all your confidence to crack an exam like NEET is gone. Uh, yeah, uh, what is your opinion about it? You also deal with these kind of situations, right? In fact, uh, the biggest mistake most students make, uh, Kapil, and I find that is that they feel that, you know, it's already, a, uh, they have conquered Mount Everest in class 10, which is a big blunder to make. Yeah. Class 10 is just a trial exam. It's just net practice in a sense. The real test would come in 12th and 11th in that sense becomes most important because it's a bridge year between 10th and 12th. And the gap between 10th and 11th, both in CBSE as well as in ISC and in many of the state boards is quite a lot. And if you are preparing for a NEET or a JE, the gap is that much more. So 11th class in that sense uh, is the most important year if you want to build that correct foundation and base in order to have a good launch pad in class 12. So time waste they should actually devote a lot of time and attention to ensuring that all their concepts are clear. And as you said, school exams and board exams in class 12 definitely cannot be ignored. Okay, good. Right. So uh, thank you very much, Kapil. So uh, I'm sure students will get a lot of clarity. And as you said, ignore the numbers. The rest of the crowd doesn't matter. What matters is how well you do in your right. need. Right? And I'm sure students will take uh, the message from there. All the best to all the students. And thank you very much, Kapil, for your time. Thank you so much, Sudhi. Thank you.